Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and today we are at day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. Hello. I know, just I slide on down. You did. I didn't did, follow I did directions. A it wasn't even a step. It was just a slide. I don't actually know. How to do it. You don't? No, it's just do like you? a little. I do. Yes. Really? Yes. I know how to moonwalk as much as I know how to juggle, which I know. I know how you do it. Like I can do a really crude version of it. Like I can do it with balls, like pool, t pool table balls on the table. I just can't do it in the air. In the air. So I can do like a really slow, bad moonwalk. This would be really interesting. I mean, this is this whole red carpet interview is taking a turn. Michael yeah. Jackson and juggling. <laughs> Let's talk Stranger Things, because I mean, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's can you can you tie it all together? I was. Well, they did a trailer with Thriller for season two. So uh, yeah. okay, that's one. How do we get juggling in it? The work is, is a bit of juggling, I suppose. The band? Uh, I, I can't tie that one. I'm kidding. We're not going to do this. Um, okay. I mean, last summer, Stranger Things, I watched it on a Friday. My husband was away, and I called him at midnight, and I'm like, I'm freaking out. Why aren't you here? I hate watching like stuff that's suspenseful, horror, anything, supernatural. I loved the series so much. For you guys, what was it like working through all of the music on this? That was a lot of fun. I mean, it's the first time we've had the chance to do anything like this, so it was a yeah. learning experience and a very fun one. Um, For us, we've both made a lot of music and a lot of types of music our whole lives, but not had an outlet for, for any of that. Like, our band is very dark, which there's that in there too, but the band, we're not allowed to put out like a super cute little melody for some children, which doesn't mean we weren't writing you know, happy melodies at home. You just, there was no reason for anyone to hear them yet, so. Yeah, so that was kind of nice to be able to explore some new types of music that, I mean, not that we hadn't already been exploring them, but to have an outlet for that kind of stuff. It's like, I'm not, good. I'm not that evil. Yeah, everybody's like, these guys are so serious, like. <laughs> You're like, there are moments, we have lightness within ourselves. We have fun, yes, we do have fun. Well, when you work on a project like this, and you said it was a learning experience, what, was the biggest challenge for you guys? Just not knowing, so a lot of preparation without expectations. You're like, I'm preparing for something, so I don't, you know, so I do can work diligently and effectively, but still just had to learn and make mistakes. Yeah, I think, like, in the initial kind of experimental period, before we had much picture or anything, we were trying out a lot of ideas that we would you know in our mind we're like this will work for this type of a scene and then you put it over the scene and it doesn't work at all it's just like it's either just ridiculous or it just doesn't feel right in some way and there's no way to really know until you actually see the picture and hear the music along to it along with the picture so just, and then you kind of learn what starts to work. and so that was Especially awesome. once you have the characters under your belt and things like that, you're like, I know it works for this particular character or that particular character. Yeah, eventually getting to that point where you could trust that what you were going to do would be accepted by the directors and everyone else over on that side. Because they can all, always be like, no. You're like, that's not what I wanted to hear. So this part's really good, no. Yeah, like we, we can make something that we're really into, and then they're like, eh, we're going to do something else. Yeah, not feeling it. Yeah. You guys worked on season two? We're still yeah. working on it. We're almost done. Yeah. Almost done. Um, how are you feeling about it? What what little teasers can you give us? Nothing. Teasers? Absolutely nothing. Spoilers. Um, how about from your, your side of things? The music side. Uh, We've gotten to expand the, the palette of music a little bit. We bought a piano. <laughs> yeah. We have an acoustic instrument on the on the score this year. I mean, there was maybe a little bit last year, but all synthesizers. All right. And did you guys anticipate this being such a monster hit, or were you surprised like everyone else? Yeah, there's no way we could have anticipated. I mean, when you see it, when on a writer on a bill, you know, or I expected some people to... There, there would be some eyes on it, you know? I showed up for Winona. I'm here. I know. You know, initially when the Duffers reached out to us, they wanted the, they said they wanted the music to be noticed. And something about score is it's like, you don't want the score to be noticed because it's just a narrative part of the story. 
So we knew we were going to get to make something that was going to be bold. And since it was going to be noticed, we knew we had to try to make it good so that people noticed that it wasn't terrible. Yeah, like all and those other projects where we just make bad music on purpose. Yeah, because we just love putting the worst out there. This just feels a little too good. Can we just please tone it down a little bit? Tone down the talent, guys. We definitely had expectations for the title where we were like, this has to be... This has to be noticed, and people have to talk about it. Well, we're talking about it. TV Academy notice. I guess it worked. Yeah, it did. Good luck tonight. Congratulations, Thank you, you both. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite TV moment was this year.